Hello, everybody. I'm very excited to be back. I am testing out the audio real quick before I get going. And uh, what do you think of this really cool background? First off, tell me how my audio sounds. Do I sound good? And then after that, let me know what you think of this background because I stayed up to like 5 a.m. working on it because I thought it was so cool. Um, yeah, <laughs> I don't know why. I do this every time before a live stream. I just take a long time to set up a, a silly thing for it. But I hope you like it. Okay, well, I'm gonna uh, listen to this back and see how it sounds. I'll be on in just a sec. Check out this sweet transition. Ready? Look at that. Oh, man. I love it. And the purple, the purple curtains to match the purple curtain. <laughs> it's so cool. I'm so, it's so cool. Hey, everybody. Welcome back. I'm so sorry I've been gone for a little bit. I got sick last week. And then uh, today was almost an iffy live stream because of the... The power just went out at like 12.30 here, and the live stream's at 1, and I was like, oh no! But it turned on 10 minutes before the stream, so I was like, okay, quick, get everything set up, go, go, go! Alright, well, hello everybody, welcome to the stream. Today, we are going to be crocheting, Ooh, I got cat hair all up in this box because Jimbo was up here. Today, we're going to be crocheting a uh, an astronaut to fit our little space theme going on. See, we are switching up a little bit. I'm gonna turn down the music just a hair because it seems like it's really loud. How's that? That's a little bit better. Okay, I'll explain how I made the rocket background in just a second too. Uh, I see a lot of people asking. Um, so today we're gonna be making an astronaut to fit our little space theme. See, I'm gonna be doing uh, something kind of cool over the next month and a half maybe uh, we're gonna be doing a new space themed item every week uh, for the live stream with the goal being that we're gonna have enough to make a baby mobile or whatever just like a fun toy at the end of uh, at the end of this series of space themed live streams and I'm also gonna try to be coming out with new patterns each uh, each week fingers crossed um, that are space themed this week, I actually did come out with a new pattern for a little crocheted rocket to match your little astronaut so that he can be like 
float in space. The goal being, um, I'm going to be crushing a rocket on a live stream in uh, probably next week. But the goal being with that this astronaut is going to be connected to the rocket by like a little tube so that when they're floating around the the baby mobile, they're kind of like wiggling separately, but they're connected. I don't know. We're going to see how it goes. But today we're making the astronaut. If you um, if you would like, okay, if you'd like to crochet along with us, here is the things that you're going to need. You can tell I, I've been... I've been out of practice for a week, you know. I gotta get my, I gotta get my live streaming juices flowing again. Okay, so here's the things that you're gonna need if you would like to crochet an astronaut along with us. Uh, first off is the pattern, obviously. You can find the pattern right here at clubcrochet.com/astro. There is a link in the description below. It's only $2.99 or free with a membership, which we'll be talking about in just a second. Uh, you'll also need the following materials. I'm using all worsted weight yarn in 100% cotton. I'm using the following colors, white, blue, red, gray, and then just a little bit of yellow, which I actually forgot, so we might need to grab some yellow in a sec. I think there's some somewhere, but we'll, fa we'll figure it out. Um, you'll also need a crochet hook. I'm using a size G four millimeter crochet hook a pair of scissors and a darning needle. I like using crimped end darning needle like this. And of course, you also need some stuffing as well. Um, if you would like to help support this channel while you guys are getting those materials, if you need them, if you would like to help support this channel, there are a few ways you can do so. The first and probably best is with a Club Crochet membership. Members get you early access to future patterns, exclusive access to a whole library of patterns. I try to come out with a new one every few weeks. Um, monthly kits mailed directly to your door with all the materials that you need. Uh, this month's kit was for a rocket with, not just a rocket, but it was a rocket that lights up. It's actually right over there. It's like a, hold on, let me grab it because it's really cool. I want to show you it. So it's a rocket spaceship on a cloud stand. Here you can see it on my bigger camera there. See, so it's got like this big stand of clouds and then if you turn the lights on, it actually is a night light. So it like, looks like the rocket is shooting off. So this is this month's kit. I have a few left over if you're interested in purchasing them. You can find the kits uh, at clubcrochet.com slash kits or in the shop. Additionally, if you'd like to help support there, you can get a bunch of merch. Um, oh, I forgot to say, patterns start. I mean, memberships start at only five dollars a month, and you can even get a free trial, so you can try it out if you want to. And if you don't like it, then that's fine. You can cancel it at any time. Okay, we gotta fix this camera. Okay. Um, other ways you can help support if you'd like to. There's merch and kits. Um, I've got a bunch of stickers available. There's Church of Perch stickers. And then the last way to help support is you can tip me. You can tip me if you'd like. There's a little link right here, clubcrochet.com slash tip. If you tip there, there should be a big thing that comes up on screen and it'll say like, blah, 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 donated. And then I'm gonna put something out for you. If it's um, uh, less than $5, I'm gonna put out stars because I've been coming up with, um, to the, I've been coming to the, to the realization that this entire screen gets filled up if I don't do something smaller for <laughs> some of them. So we're gonna do stars for less than five. And then if it's uh, more than five, I've got a bunch of different kinds of aliens to put out. Um, so we can, we can fill the background with little aliens if you would like to help support. Uh, what else? Am I missing anything? My, my mind, I'm missing my mind. Um, all right, well, let's, let's get hooking. Let's get, Let's get hooking. I'm gonna start by making our arms with our right yarn. Oh, boom! Donated right away. Five buckaroos. Okay, so first alien right out the bat. Let's start with the, just a classic. Let's just start with the classic. This is for Cooperlicious. Thank you so much for your support, Cooperlicious. And this guy is gonna be right back here the whole time, just for you, Cooperlicious. This is a brain slug from uh, Futurama. It's not technically a brain slug, because I'll get in trouble if like that gets out, but it is. So I'm gonna put this right here. <laughs> and keep 
keep crocheting. Thank you so much, Goopalicious. Um, people were asking me about that background that I made. I'm really proud of it. Uh, I made it by doing... Um, I basically recorded a video of a rocket that I made with a... That I just took a... I took a rocket and put it on a string like this. And then took a few pictures of it, like, slowly turning like that. Slowly turning like... Actually, I think I made it go a full 180 degrees. And then I... Um, and then I did the same thing with a flame on the bottom, and then I cut out all the images, and I put them all into After Effects, and it was a lot of editing. It was a lot of After Effects editing. Um, if you are familiar with the Adobe products, I highly suggest you get used to using After Effects. It's really cool and a great way to make um, stop motion animation and stuff like that. Uh, I was actually, I actually already had some of that made because I was working on a video game with some friends for a while. And so I was making sprites for that video game, and that was, um, that actually was one of the, one of the sprites was that little rocket, because I wanted to give a test of like, okay, how would crochet work in a video game setting? Would does it just stop motion crochet really, really work? And I think it really does. So I'd like to actually turn that, um, that screen in the beginning. Oh, Sasha, hold on, I'll, let me finish my sentence first. Um, I'd like to turn that screen in the beginning into an actual little, like, online flash game or something, just for the website, but I don't really know how to do that just yet, so it's gonna take some practice or some help from a friend or something. Okay, so that's the end of round one for my arms. And, Sasha, thank you so much for your support. $10. Haha, <laughs> that's gonna get you a little bit bigger of an alien. And, um, I'm gonna... I'm going to show you one of my, hold on, one of my arms. Check it out. Doesn't that look cool? No. I'm going to show you, <laughs> you one of my favorite things that I never created. This is a woggle out for Sasha. Not only is this a woggle, this is the first woggle that I ever found. Um, a woggle is an alien species that... Um, <clears throat> hatches from an egg uh, and it comes out looking like whatever it's around for protection and so they always look like uh, they, they came out in my apartment looking like crocheted items so that they could blend in um, and they don't move unless you're no one's looking at them so it, it's kind of weird I have a whole video series on my um, on my Louis Loops channel where I talk about the woggles they're they like crash landed here it's like a whole thing um, but I did not crochet this guy. He just looks crocheted. Um, and there's a few more that'll come out uh, for supporters. But this one's for Sasha. This is the first one. His name is Friar. I named him because he's got this little bald spot on the top. He kind of looks like a friar. So there's a few woggles to come out. We'll go ahead and put him right here. He is not crocheted, though. He just looks like he's crocheted. I'm very curious to see what woggles look like when they are hatched around like other kind of things like maybe they're hatched in a in a ceramic maker's apartment <laughs> it'd be cool yeah i really i love the woggles i miss them actually okay now i'm working on the hands i'm so glad you love him sasha i love him too he's he is definitely one of my favorites. I think if this place was burning down, uh, he would be one of the first things I grabbed. After Jimbo, of course, and Phoebe. Oh, there's the red yarn. You don't need this. Yes, there are no woggle patterns because it's not crocheted. Yeah. It's not. It's not made. I never made it. Miriam. Miriam is confused, which is great. You know, I, I just love making people confused on my live streams. No. <laughs> what are you confused about? The Woggle? Um, he is an alien. You can find... Uh, I have more information about him and a bunch of other Woggles that I found on... Uh, if you just go to louisloops.com, you can find my whole series there about them. 
about all the things I discovered about them and stuff like that. You know, Tina, I saw that. I saw that happened. I don't know why that happened at all. Um, apparently, Tina's donations were returned. I saw that you emailed me about that. I have no idea, honestly. No idea, but... Um, yeah, I don't know. Do you know if they were the Super Chat ones or they were the straight-up donation ones? I think you're the only one that that happened to. So I don't know why. We'll have to deal with it off live stream, though. We'll, do, we'll talk about it later. But, yeah, I don't know. I'm sorry about that. I mean, obviously, because... <laughs> but, yeah. Wolf says, how do I come up with these? Oh, I didn't come up with the Woggles. The Woggles came to, came to me. I didn't come up with them. They're a living species. And you should respect them as such. <laughs> I am really excited to see how this um, baby mobile works in the end. Um, because there are a few pretty cool... Uh, patterns that I'm working on for it and I want to make a really big Sun in the center of it um, on one of these live streams that's basically just gonna be a big crocheted sphere but I'm gonna use yellow yarn uh, held together with yellow um, like a halo yarn it's not like it it's like um really thin fuzzy yarn and by holding it together it creates like a halo effect around the yarn, kind of like the fur around uh, around Friar here. You can see how it's like kind of like flowing out, so it looks more like a, a burning sun. That's at least my idea. We're gonna see how it works later on. Um, Sunshine, I did get your email. Uh, I'm sorry I haven't responded to it. I was up all night working on that silly video because I was super inspired. So. Uh, I didn't respond to emails, and I should have, but I didn't. Um, but I'll get back to you ASAP. Uh, Tina gave me some cool advice about the UFO pattern, which I'll show you in just a bit. Uh, maybe it'll come out for a donation. Um, but I got a cool idea via Tina, and I actually had an idea for how to do your, sis your system for making the alien be able to sit in the UFO a little bit easier. So, But I'll show you in a little bit. I got a... I gotta keep rocking and rolling. We got a lot of parts for this this character to make. I missed you guys. I missed you a bunch. It was a rough week last week. I got some kind of f bug. It was like a. It wasn't like COVID. It was like a stomach bug. I ate some weird chicken or something. I don't know, but it was a rough uh, week or so. And I'm so sorry that I missed last live stream. I had to cancel it like last minute. I didn't want to, but Jules was like, Lou, you are sick. You cannot do a live stream right now. I was like, I can do it. I'll be fine. She's like, what if you're not though? And I'm like, that's a good point. So then instead of doing a live stream, I went to urgent care. <laughs> but I'm okay now. All well now. First lo oh, Alexander. How you doing, dude? He's making a blue water bottle cozy. Oh, that's a great idea. For like a, oh, that's a nice. It'd be cool if you could make one that like, can be connected to like a, a bike or something. That's a cool idea though. XX Wolf is making a crocheted star Amy Gurumi keychain. Oh, I forgot to mention one other thing that happens with donations. Um, uh, see this bar right here? This is a giveaway bar. If this thing gets filled up all the way, uh, we're gonna do a giveaway. So every donation goes straight to that, to that, yeah, that big bar there. We're also gonna be doing a giveaway pretty soon. Um, I think I'm gonna do a pretty big giveaway actually, because we are just about to hit 100,000 subscribers on YouTube. Isn't that crazy? If you are not subscribed yet, please subscribe down below. 
Um, and also like this video too. That's completely outside of this point, but you should like this video because it helps people get see it and it helps me know what to do more live streams about in the future. Um, but also subscribe if you're not subscribed yet. We're trying to hit 100,000. Uh, it would be really cool. And yeah, we're going to definitely be doing a big giveaway for 100,000 subscribers. I have a feeling that's going to happen before before this bar gets filled up, but who knows? Who knows? One way or another, live stream giveaways coming your way soon. You know, Chirp a Little, um, Chirp a Little said that she missed the last live stream. You know, the actually the last live stream was, or the last giveaway was a, um, was a hooked game show. So Jack, uh, Jack Gurgle, the, the goblin puppet, um, did a whole game show thing and it actually still works. So you just don't win as much as you would win if you were watching it live. But if you would like to uh, try that giveaway out, it is still um, it still works. Like you can still win money to the Club Crochet Shop. Um, you can find it in the last live stream, the Loop and Pearl live stream. In the middle of the live stream, there is a um, a giveaway game show. Uh, I need to upload it, re-upload it onto. I need to re-upload it onto this. Um, onto the channel though, like as its own video. So yeah, look out for that. And when I do that, I'll reopen it so that the giveaway is worth more. So basically like if you're watching it live, you win $5. If you're not watching it live, you win uh, like two bucks to the Club Crochet store. It's kind of cool. Oh, thank you so much. Oh, Tina. All right. <laughs> okay. Thank you, Tina. Thank you very much. Hopefully you can figure out why they get sent back. Maybe this one won't. Let's hope. Um, I can give you a bigger. Let's see, wait. Yeah. Let's do this little star. Here's what I did with these stars. So this is a pattern coming out soon. This is for Tina. Thank you so much, Tina. And what's cool about these is if you, like, I sewed two of these stars together, and uh, it kind of looks like a little piece of candy now. Or something it's a perfect keychain though look at that it's like a really good like dense star so this is gonna go out right here for Tina so you can get it against the wall oh that's perfect even held up there and everything wait how many rounds of this am I supposed to do is it just two yeah it is I guess huh stitch right there and now we got an astronaut arm it's a little chunky I think I'm crocheting a little bit thicker than normal but it worked we're gonna have to put some kind of like wire or um, or pipe cleaner on the inside I think so that we can make the arms more poseable what do you think of the space music too by the way I'm pretty happy with it. I think it's a cool, cool choice. Yes, yeah. It's a dense star. Hopefully it's not too dense where it'll explode all over. It'll explode. Oh, enfant, c'est possible. Karin Augusto Tomas. Bonjour. One, two, three, four. Oh my gosh. Rebecca. Hope you're feeling better. Absolutely. Oh, Inner Focus. $10 from Inner Focus. Thank you so much, Inner Focus. Let's get another woggle out for you. This is the second woggle ever 
hatched, at least in this apartment. I'm sure they're somewhere else, but this was the second one ever hatched here. And this is Ertl. Um, I don't know why his name is Ertl, but his name is Ertl. Very cute. So what's really cool about the Woggles um, is that uh, they are um, uh, asexual, which means that they don't... Uh, they reproduce asexually. They don't need another woggle to reproduce. They just hatch, they just lay eggs. Um, so, yeah, which is why I, because I only had this guy, and then he laid an egg, and then it ended up being Ertl. But there was no other woggles for him to, you know, get freaky with. So, yeah, they're asexual. It's one of the many discoveries I found about the Woggles. One, two, three, four, five. I need it crushing more in the circle. It's, I'm gonna redo this magic loop. I'll have to get more Woggles if more, uh... Oh, Sherry! Yes, no, it's Fryer, yeah, like a, like a, uh, yeah, like a po, uh, like a, yeah, you get it. <laughs> and this one's Ertl. I think it's Ertl because, like, the ears, maybe? I don't really remember why I named him Ertl. He was my, um, uh, my old roommate Garrett's, uh, Woggle. Two, three, four, five, six. I'm trying something different out with the hands here. I'm doing a few tests on this pattern as I make it. Um, I don't think I'm gonna change it. I just wanna see what happens if I change the, um, if I change the beginning of the pattern a little bit and where the feet are located. But we'll see, we'll see how it goes. Kellen. Ooh, Karen does not speak English. Parler en français. Mon français est pas bon. Mais si peux parler un peu. Woggles are to hold handkerchiefs, right? Uh, I mean, I guess they could hold handkerchiefs. I don't think they're here for any reason other than that they got stuck here. I have a feeling that they came via asteroid. I think that's what happened. It's called, um, uh, the, the act of an alien species coming to the Earth via asteroid is called panspermia. And it is a theory on how um, life came to uh, the planet Earth. Oui, je peux parler en français, but just a little bit. <laughs> On peut. I haven't practiced in a long time, though. Um, how many other languages do I speak? Well, I wouldn't even say that I speak French. I just, I can kind of, sort of speak French sometimes. But um, yeah, I'm definitely not fluent, uh, and I can I I can read Japanese, but I don't really know what I'm saying. I took Japanese for four years in high school, uh, and I don't really remember much of it except for Konnichiwa, hajimasete, watashi wa Louis desu. That means hello. My name is Louis. <laughs> How are you? <laughs> I would like to study uh, Japanese again because one of the harder parts with Japanese is reading it because they have, um, well, they have like really three different alphabets, um, hiragana, katakana, and kanji. Kanji is not really Japanese. It is Japanese, but it's also used in China. Um, kanji is like crazy difficult though because there are a basically a different character for every single word. 
And, like there's a character for fire and water and gold and neighbor and everything. Um, whereas hiragana is used for um, more like uh, like actual Japanese words as if like you were writing in a regular English alphabet. And then katakana is more for uh, foreign words. So like names, um, things like things like uh, if you wanted to say like you wanted to spell out my name you'd need to write it in katakana. So you need to learn all these different alphabets to even be able to read Japanese. And then on top of that, Japanese as a language is crazy tricky because there is, um, they just formulate their sentences much different than Western languages. Um, like their verb is always at the end of the sentence. So it's kind of hard to like start to work your brain around how to read in Japanese. I don't know. It's a very difficult language, but I would like to study it again. I remember when I was first studying it uh, in high school, I played Pokemon in Japanese to try to help me understand it, which was useful for reading the alphabet, but not useful for like understanding the words. But what I really like about learning Japanese was that I learned the differences between Japanese, Korean, Chinese uh, a lot like uh, at least with the words a lot better like I can I can understand now when I'm walking uh, through downtown I could be like oh that's a Korean restaurant I know the difference between Korean and Japanese characters. And when we went to Japan, Jules and I, um, we went last, not last year, but the year before. Like, no one went anywhere last year. Um, but we went, uh, what was kind of cool is I still can read it. So I could still like read the different um, like names of the streets and stuff like that if we needed to find where we needed to go. Yeah. Rebecca speaks five languages. That's wild. That is a lot of languages. I can speak uh, HTML, uh, <laughs> a little bit of CSS. Not very much JavaScript at all, though. And then I can speak crochet really well. Oh, that's a great idea, Alexander. Playing Pokemon Shield. Because I, I forget that you can play other Pokemon games in other languages other than Japanese. That would be clever to do it in French and stuff. Yeah, I'm thinking about going to use um, uh, Hootsuite. I used to use Hootsuite a lot for French because um, I took French in college and then I I was just really obsessed with French culture and French the French language and then I started taking Hootsuite I, I'd like to do it again though <laughs> hey thanks Maria <laughs> do you like my haircut? I got a haircut, finally. I don't know if you remember seeing it last time, but my hair was so long and gross and just I just was not a fan of my hair. So I'm really glad I got a haircut. This haircut took five minutes. It took my hairdresser five freaking minutes to make. It's crazy. I was like, oh my God, you're done? It was so fast and it was good. It was like a good haircut. Okay, so I think we got, yeah, we got our two fat arms here. Now, normally when I make these little arms with the bobble stitch as a thumb, I pull it in for the last few rounds so that it's a little tighter. You can see it on my um, orcs and trolls. I use it a lot for those patterns. But for this astronaut, you know, the, an astronaut suit, at least the current astronaut suits, are really thick 
and uh, bulky. So these arms are going to be really thick to match those astronaut suits. That's the idea. All right, next up we are making the mask. The mask gets sewn on afterwards. So this pattern has a decent amount of sewing to do. It's not too bad, but it does have some sewing involved. I'm gonna be using a slightly lighter blue than I'm normally using. Oh, hey, I forgot to also mention, what do you think of the backdrop? I changed the background to be a teal. Um, the basic idea for this is that every month I'm going to, going to be changing the background. So the last two months were a little iffy because January was supposed to be a darker blue and then February turned into a lighter blue. So it's slowly going to be changing colors throughout the year to be a rainbow. Um, so it won't really be noticeable in the short term, but it hopefully will be pretty noticeable in the long term where it's like, oh wow, I'm in June and the background is yellow or something, you know? Uh, I hope it doesn't get too annoying though. I think it's kind of, a, I just thought it was kind of fun. We'll see how it goes though. What are you guys making? I know that um, Alexander is making a water bottle. Someone was making some stars, maybe Miriam? What else are you guys making? Anybody else crocheting today? I have an idea of something we could do for this mask, but I gotta think about it. Whoa, Vic Victoria is making kitty moths. What is a kitty moth? Jane, how are you doing? Jane is making goblin, a goblin. <laughs> Hell yeah. Making a goblin doesn't feel like doing any sewing. That's a great project if you don't want to sew anything because there are, is no sewing involved. Jane, I got to show you this um, thing that uh, Sasha told me to crochet. Jane and I have a friend in common uh, named Sasha that we both found out. We we're like, oh my gosh, we both know Sasha. Let's see, what else? Antoinette is making a crocheted tank top. I love your name, Antoinette. That is a great name. Christy is making, a, making flowers to turn them into a shawl. How cool. Oh my gosh. Rachel, hello, thank you for popping in. I am feeling a lot better. Thank you for, thank you for your uh, thoughts. Oh my God, Miriam is addicted to making triceratops. I'm trying to work on a new dinosaur pattern to come out soonish. This song is a little bit loud. I'm gonna turn it down just a little bit. Let's see what else we got. Lizzie's making a panda. How cool! You gotta love pandas. God, Rebecca, you can speak Hawaiian. <laughs> uh, uh, Lily's making a Ralph Macchio doll. <laughs> so funny. Okay, Miriam. Bye. Thanks for joining. Oh, wait. I need to do an increase, right? Yes. Okay. So we're making the window now of my mask. The window has some white, a white border to kind of try to hide it when it's sewn onto the front of the mask. Now, when I did this version, you can see that little tiny, see the lighter blue on the darker blue? This time I'm gonna try to use white for that instead to make that little, that shine of the mask a little bit more noticeable and try to make it match the um, the rocket a little bit better because I do that on the rocket as well. Jamie, Jamie's just had the worst day. I'm so sorry, Jamie, I hope it gets better. 
I'm doing, actually, I'm doing pretty good. I'm, I'm in a good mood. I've got a bunch of coffee running through my veins, which is always a great start. I had to give up coffee for like a week. So, <laughs> it's, it's nice to have coffee again. It's nice to have my tolerance to coffee again. Or my lack of tolerance, I should say. Hi, Ismail. Oh, Balthazar asks, what is my email address? My email address is louis at clubcrochet.com. That is my email. Feel free to uh, pop over and let me know anything. Oh, Emily Arts. Absolutely love your channel. We just got into crochet this year and it's really helping with my mental health. Oh, you bought the otter kit today too. Oh, I saw that. I saw that purchase. You were one of the first uh, only people that have bought the otter kit. Thank you so much, Emily. Um, so quick little tip. Uh, if you donate via Super Chat, it doesn't go directly into this hooked goal. So I'm going to go ahead and do that manually right now um, because, yeah. But just so you know, it doesn't do that. I'm going to up it to, uh, because it's Euro, I'll make it to 125. Let's go ahead and update that. There we go. And for Emily, oh. Jules's Woggle. So this one was the first Woggle and my Woggle, Friar. We got Ertle. And then this is Lilup. Look how cute Lilup is. She's just the sweetest little girl. Oh, she's so cute. I love Lilup. She's the cutest. Um, so another fact about Woggles. They um they eat their their favorite food is uh donuts. They love donuts. So there's another little fact about woggles. I've got even more facts about woggles too. I'm going to have to have Jules bring in some woggles in a sec for future supporters. Although I do have other aliens I guess I could show you too. Eva's making Godzilla and going crazy. Hey, Eva, are you excited about Godzilla vs. King Kong? I'm not, like, super duper excited about it, but I did just watch Kong Skull Island last night um, just because I needed something to watch while I was working on a pattern. And it wasn't, like, a great movie in any sense of the word, but it did get me a little bit more excited for Kong vs. Godzilla. I don't know. Those big, like, crazy movies are... They're fun to watch sometimes, you know? Those crazy, big, destructive movies. I mean, Pacific Rim, for example. Pacific Rim was pretty cool. <laughs> I actually really like that movie. It's not a good movie in any sense, but it's very fun. Very entertaining to watch. All right, so now we got a little mask. Let's see our little whoop, mask on there. We cut this. First, we can cut the blue, because we don't need that for sure. Then we'll cut the white. I'm going to leave a pretty long end for the white, like that long, so we have something to sew it on with. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Thank you so much, Lily. She looks like a little ref. Fialo? I don't know what that is. Have I crocheted little donuts for them? No, I haven't. I should, but I feel like that would be torture because they would try to eat it and then they wouldn't eat it. They wouldn't be able to, you know? I should make a mini King Kong. That would be pretty cool. Uh, is that guy's pattern in Club Crochet? I'm guessing you're talking about the woggles, in which case, no. Uh, the woggles are not crocheted. They are hatched, um, and they just look like they're crocheted because they, uh, the, whatever they hatched near, they try to um, mimic the look of it so that they don't get spotted right away. It's like a defense mechanism. So they just look like they're crocheted, but they're actually not. They're, they just look like that. Um, so next up, we got the window. Oh, we want to add just a little bit of a 
have a shine on this window. You know what? We'll save this. We're going to save this extra thread on the side for later for the window shine. Uh, next up, I think we're making the backpack. Yes, we are. Yes, the stars are very small. Um, yes, okay, so we're making the back. <laughs> yeah, Specific Rim was way better than Skull Island. There are a lot of gaping plot holes in that movie. Uh, Sherry, there is not a bulk purchase for um, pro yearly membership yet. But you know what? A lot of people have been requesting that. So I am going to um, look into that with my friend who helps me on the website. His name is Jimmy. Um, hi, Jimmy, if you're watching. I don't think he is, but hello, Jimmy. Uh, he is very, very helpful. He actually just added something new to the website. So we, we have we have meetings every every week where we talk about new things that we want to add to the website and I work on stuff and he works on stuff and then we kind of share what we've made. Um, and he actually just added something really, really cool to the website uh, that I'd love to share with you guys right now actually. Um, you might have noticed it if you've gone on any patterns on the website. You can now favorite patterns and then they, they go to your home page. So let me find, where's my phone? What did I do? What did I do with my phone? Ugh. There it is. I'll get some coffee too. A detachable helmet would be really cool. Hey, next person that supports, I'm going to show you something. Uh, I got something to, to share that has to do with what they, what, um, what Nona just said. So check this out. I don't know if you can see my phone. Yeah, you can see it. Okay. Let me turn up the brightness real quick. There we go. So a new thing that, that was added is that you can resume patterns and you can save patterns to your library. And then you can see all the popular patterns that have been added to the library. So if you go to a pattern like this rocket ship, I think I already have it saved. It's loading. There we go. See that little save button? This is a brand new feature that was added by um, Jimmy. You can save patterns and then you have a, a whole section where you have your like saved patterns. So you can go to saved. And then here's all my patterns that I've saved. Isn't that cool? It's so cool. And then now these are forever. Um, these are available from your from the home page now too. So now it's all on the recently saved and you can resume the pattern and stuff like that. Pretty cool. Pretty cool addition. I really, really like it. Uh, and to Alexander's question, um, Club Crochet app, when? Well, right now we are working on it to be more of a web app. So it's currently available as a web app. So if you just go to clubcrochet.com and you can add it to your home screen and it actually makes it into a, an app like thing. So look, it's basically an app right now. Um, you can see it right there. So yeah, I'll, I'll come out with a tutorial for how to do that in a little bit. Um, it's really, really easy to do though. But that's what we're working on right now with the goal being to add it to the app store. Um, I don't know, as soon as we can, I guess. I, neither one of us know how to make apps. So we're kind of like a little behind on that. But what we want to do right now is do a uh, do a test run for an app. So I want to make um, Stitched, the game Stitched into an app. Uh, not like actually the game, but um, but it'll be like a thing where you can control, you can keep track of your scores, you can see all the patterns from there and stuff like that. Um, that's going to be our test run for making an app. If anybody is out in the audience and uh, would like to help me design an app, please email me. Club Crochet or Louis at clubcrochet.com. Ismail, I am doing great, man. I'm doing great. How is the video game going? You know, it hasn't been going as well as I would hope, to be honest. I just haven't had the time to work on it at all. Um, I don't think any of us have. We have this little team of video game peeps, and we just haven't had the time to work on it. 
I need to work on the sprites for our main character. His name is Hambone. He's a um, he's a pig, a space pig. But I just haven't had the chance to work on it much. Exactly, Bill. Yeah, that's the that's kind of the idea there is that it's just so much easier to update a web app than it is otherwise. Jane! Jane! Oh, perfect. You're the perfect person to support because this is... I wanted to show you this, mostly. So, Sasha, our friend in common, me and Jane's friend in common, um, gave me a really good suggestion for a pattern I should do, um, or just something I should crochet. And that is, I need to make something, I need to make an otter that is prepared to go to otter space. So I made a little mask for an otter. <laughs> and there's actually, it's, it's actually um, was designed originally so that this mask comes off, but the face is like just a little too small, but the actual, the whole mask can be pulled off of the otter's face. So it's pretty cool. I'm pretty proud of it. I think what I'm gonna do is on the website, um, I mean, obviously I've got like a million things I wanna add to the website, but one of the things I really wanna add uh, and by the way, this is for you, Jane. Thank you so much for your support. I really, really appreciate it. Thank you. And this outer space traveler is going to be right here. And we'll let it hold Tina's star. There we go. If you didn't know, the otter pattern is really cool because it's got magnets in the hands. So you can open the hands up and have it hold whatever you want. Like, it's like Tina's star. I'll keep it nice and safe. Jane, if you got a name for this otter, let me know. Yes. Let's hear this helmet. Yes. Thank you so much, Jane. I really appreciate it. Okay. Um, what was I talking about before I got distracted? Huh? I don't remember either. Oh, oh, yeah. So something else that I want to add to the website is uh, I used to ha I had this going when I like very the very start of my site I did this, which was um, I would make it so that certain patterns can be um, can only be unlocked. I called it untangling a pattern uh, if you did other patterns. So I think it'd be really cool to make secret patterns on the website that are only available to crochet after you've crocheted other patterns. So like if you made the otter and you made an astronaut, suddenly you get the pattern for a mask for your otter. Stuff like that. Kind of like gamifying the crocheting so it's like encourages you to make more things and uh, I don't know. I just thought it'd be really fun. I love video games so yeah. <laughs> That's kind of the little bit of an idea that I have for future um, features on the website. The website's really just like a passion project for me and Jimmy. Uh, we, we just love working on it and coming up with new ideas for things that we can add. I don't know how much they're used. I would love it if you guys used the website more often since we put so much work into it. But in all honesty, the website is more just for like our fun probably because I don't know how many people really use these cool features. They're really cool, no question, but I'm just not sure how many people actually go about using it or even know that they exist. I think I need to do maybe a little bit better job of promoting it or just talking about it and stuff. I know this song. I also knew the last song. The last song was from, uh, from Mario Kart. The, the waiting screen. And this is a song from Mario 64, the first water level. Oh, I love this level. I love the music on this level. Why is it that water levels have the best music but the worst gameplay? It's so weird. Oh, it's too heavy to load on your old iPad. Oof. That's not good. I should I should look into that. Maybe try to shrink it down, the site down a little bit or something. 
Okay, Balthazar, I need to see what this this pig looks like. A golf pig? You should share it on the Discord. Oh, by the way, we have a Discord channel. If you would like to check it out, um, you could just go to clubcrochet.com slash Discord. Uh, and we have a Discord channel. And there's a really cool option on the Discord channel so that you can, um, like, share. There's a little, like, <clears throat> mini, mini group in there for... It's called Look What I Made, and you can show all the cool things that you've crocheted, and I share things that I've crocheted and stuff. It's cool. Check it out if you'd like to join the Discord. Oh, also I made a TikTok. <laughs> I meant to say that earlier. If you'd like to, to follow Club Crochet's TikTok, I made one for Club Crochet, and there was a, uh, a night, wonderful human being named Georgia. Uh, I won't say her full name, but her first name is Georgia, and she had the at Club Crochet username, and I reached out to, to Georgia, and, and um, I asked if, if she could, if I could use the Club Crochet username, and, and offered her, like, free memberships and some money and stuff like that, and she just said, I love your channel, thank you so much for what you do, here's the username, she just gave me the username. It was really, really, really cool of her, so... Georgia, if you're watching this video, I don't know if you are, but if you are watching it, you need to understand how much I appreciated that. I was having a really bad time when you uh, sent me that, so it just made the world, it meant the world to me. Thank you so much, Georgia. Chirp a little, chirp a little. Thank you so much, chirp a little. Little chirp a little. We're gonna do... Let's do, let's do this star for Chirp a Little. Let's do, yeah, let's do this one. It's a pretty big star. There we go. Can you go right here? There we go, where Tina's was. But now, now the otter's holding Tina's. Okay. I have a little pile of face parts in the corner does it cost money uh for the website no it doesn't uh the website is totally free to use um you can if you have a basic account a free account on the website you can um you can use all that those cool features like saving patterns and stuff like that you can get a membership level account if you'd like but you don't need to um the membership level account just gives you access to all the patterns on the website but if you get a basic account, you get access to all the free patterns, which there's a pretty good amount of those too. Um, Lily, what is the official name for your TikTok? It is just at Club Crochet. That's it, at Club Crochet. I have one TikTok on there so far, and it is me crocheting a chicken that poops. Yeah, that's the only one so far. I'm gonna do another one for the rocket soon, and uh, yeah, I just I have I have plans for it. That's for sure. But definitely, like, the more people that follow it, the better, for sure, because I am not good at TikTok. I don't know what I'm doing just yet. And I think it's more of a quantity than a quality thing on TikTok. And if you have been a fan of this channel for a while, you'll know that, like, I like to spend a lot of time producing and, like, making the quality of whatever I'm making really high. Hence all the video tutorials and stuff like that. Um... So I have a hard time with quantity, which is something I gotta work on if I want to be doing better on the on the TikTokies. Callie's Origami Creations is the star pattern out? Not yet. I need to record it um, this week. So the the PDF version is uh, complete. I need to test that out this week as well before I record the video pattern, but it'll be out soon. Um, and the tutorial is going to be not only just to make a star, but how to make uh, six different uh, sizes of stars and how to sew them together and stuff like that. It's a, it's a pretty in-depth tutorial, so. But it'll be out very soon. I'm also going to be coming out with a miniature rocket pattern. This little one right here. So this will be coming out soon as well. 
Just a little miniature version. Here's the big version. Here's the little version. See how they're different. Um, no, Sparky, the Discord does not cost any money. You can get you can get in on the Discord absolutely 100% free. Uh, it's just clubcrochet.com slash Discord to get there. Okay, so now I'm making the body. The body. Yeah, I need to be more active on the Discord. Um, I just always forget because I put it in a in a folder on my phone that's like a little bit hidden because uh, I put it with all the social media stuff and I don't really like going on social media if I can avoid it. Discord is not really social media though, so I, I should change the folder that it's in so that I go to it more. Um, I just don't like going to like... I go on Instagram and look at the hashtag for Club Crochet a lot, but I don't like going on Instagram for other... for seeing other things because I don't want it to influence like myself. I don't want to be like, uh, I don't know. I get, I just get like, Instagram makes me feel sad sometimes. I don't, does anybody else feel that way? It just gets me like, um, jealous. Cause all you see is like perfection. All you see is like people's perfect little lives and you never see the, the, the bummer parts of people's lives at all. You don't get to see real human life. You only get to see the perfect part. And it, bums me out it depresses me and it makes me jealous and it makes me uncomfortable and I think there is part of that that is internal that I need to work on for myself um, but uh, I do I, I can't I can't say it's all on me I think I think that uh, there's a general consensus that Instagram culture is uh, a little bit toxic. It's got this like tinge of like, I don't know, uncomfort there. Oh my gosh, a little up. See, this is what I mean. When you don't look at the woggles, they, that's the only time they move is when you're not, when they don't, you're not looking at them at all. Um, so that's what just happened, probably. Lil up was trying to escape but Lilith, you gotta be very careful because there are deadly cats around and they can, they're gonna, they'll get you. They'll get you. They do not like woggles or they like woggles too much. You know, I should post my fails on, on Instagram more often. I Maybe I'll do that like once a week. Failure of the week. That would, you know what? I actually really like that idea, Jessica. I think I might do that. Just doing a failure of the week, make it more real. Make it more like, look, I goof up too. Everybody goofs up. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Christy, yep. I think it's a it's going around, you know. Social media it can be a little toxic. It can be a little grating. Okay, so now I've got five rounds of just single crochets. Let's talk, guys. This I can do five rounds of single crochets in my sleep. No worries at all there. Valentina. Oh, I love that. Oh, Jane, I love it. Valentina after the first woman in space, but also appropriately for Valentine's Day. Jane, 10 out of 10 name. That is Valentina, the space, the outer space traveler. Ooh, Adela is making Chansey. That's awesome. Yeah, at the very least, doing stories of, of your mess-ups would be good. 
An astronaut. <laughs> astronauter. What about that? What about an astronauter? Is that weird? Lily's making a two-toed sloth named Elliot. Are there two-toed sloths? Phantom Random, welcome! No, it's okay. You don't have to... You never have to apologize. Thank you for joining. It depends on the... On the Instagram account that you follow, I guess. For the mini anatomical... Blah, 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 blah. Oh, Miriam, there is not. You know, I never finished the mini anatomical heart for clubcrochet.com. But there is one on Louis Loops. Uh, you can find it. I think you can find it on the Louis Loops YouTube channel, maybe, even. It's like an old video, though. It's not great. And the pattern, honestly, isn't great either, which is why I didn't move it over to Club Crochet. Um, it's an okay pattern, but it's not the best one. Tina, is the astronaut this month's pattern? This month's pattern, um, the newest pattern this month was for the rocket. Um, the rocket uh, uh, night light, which I was showing a little earlier. Where do I put it? No, it's somewhere here. But it's basically a, a rocket ship that lights up. Oh, here it is. This was this month's pattern. Another, another view into it. At least so far. This was the kit that got mailed out this week. Um, we're going to be crocheting it next weekend for the live stream. But check this out. I just I wrapped some some stuffing around this in a meeting last week. But I realized I could put a little rocket on it and it looks like a rocket ship. I don't know. I just thought it was cool. <laughs> hey Charlie. Charlie, what did you miss? Oh my gosh. I got into a fight with an alien uh, spaceship. Um, the, the spaceship was named Charles, which is actually kind of crazy because your name's Charlie. Uh, and I had a, it was a whole laser fight thing. It was like a, it was just this whole thing. Um, but it's over now and now we're just crocheting. <laughs> Divine Rose Knight, hello and welcome. Haven't seen you in a sec. Nice to have you. Okay, so we're on our fifth round of single crochets, which is perfect. And after this, we need to change to gray for the neckline. And I want to try to do the feet um, under my amigurumi this time so that his feet are pointing straight down instead of out. Uh, so, for example, see this guy? His feet are like right here. And um, they're cute, but they're, that's built mostly for him to be able to sit down. I want to put them on the bottom so that they look like actual little feet like sit, sticking out since he's going to be floating anyhow. So that that's, our, that's my goal for this one. Um, it's a little bit of a different change for the pattern. I'm going to put the bobble stitches in the second to last round, but we'll see. Yes, fandom random is totally true. No, not true. I was not fighting an alien. They were fighting me. But I don't fight aliens. I love aliens. Except for Alien, like from the movie Alien, that thing's terrifying. Also, uh, the scariest movie of all time. Oopsies, I think we finished our five rounds. Yes, we did. Okay. Scariest movie of all time, Signs. Signs, scary, terrifying. I hate that movie. It's scary and it's scary. And also it's scary. I'm scared of it. I'm scared of the movie Signs. 
That scene where the alien's walking past the the alleyway, or when it's like sitting on the on the roof. Oh, when the little girl goes like, "There's an alien outside." I don't know. It's a scary movie. Hey, Dad. My dad is in the chat. Bobby 4M Metalworks. That's my pops. Hello. Hola, papa. Oh, Fandom Random. What are these creatures in the background, he asks. These are the Woggles. Um, Woggles are an alien species that uh, crash landed on earth uh this guy was the first one of them um i do not crochet them they actually hatch to look like whatever they are around you know what would be kind of fun i might do next week i might do for the halftime show do like a um like a, a woggle recap that might be kind of fun but they're kind of uh they're like they're like an alien species that look crocheted because they hatch Whatever they hatch next to, they look like that. So that's why they look like aliens or look like crocheted items. But I actually didn't make them. They were hatched that way. Men in Black is pretty spooky, to be honest. Yeah, science is a scary movie, man. Are the Woggles related to the Yetis? Uh, no, they are not. Yetis, uh, I, I believe Yetis are a, um, are an Earth-based creature. I don't think Yetis were from a different planet, but I don't know. Woggles, on the other hand, um, came here through a method called panspermia, which is when a, an, alien species on a different planet like let's say an asteroid hits the planet like let's say an asteroid hits the the a, a different planet let's say that there was there's life on mars and then and then an asteroid hits the life on mars and then it sh it shoots rocks out into space and then one of those rocks eventually lands on earth and then that rock had a little bit of life on it and then that life flourishes on earth that's called a uh, panspermia the, the the process of of an alien species going from one planet to another through natural means and that's how the woggles at least that's how i think the woggles have got here it's just a theory though a game theory <laughs> not a game theory a real theory i should make jack a a, a an astronaut helmet that'd be fun This is not a red Sasquatch. This is a Woggle. That is a, um, his name is Fryer. Oh, my dad thinks he found a steel one in his shop, which wouldn't be surprising because I did bring a Woggle down there at one point and it definitely could have laid an egg. Do I like supporting other small creators? Oh yeah, of course I do. Absolutely, I am supporting like, I think I'm supporting like 20 something people on Patreon. <laughs> yes, I am a big fan of small creators just in general. Cause I am a small creator. At least uh, I think I'm small. Club Crochet is getting a little bit bigger, which is really cool, but uh, Louis Loops is still itty bitty. Um. There is not a pattern for the Woggles. No, there is not. Um, okay, I'm going to... Let's see, should I get to... I'm gonna to get to the point where we need to sew on the face and then we're gonna do um, a little halftime show. Just a quick one where I can show you some of the cool things that I've been crocheting. <laughs> Don't I mean the fraggles? Yes, they are definitely inspired by fraggles for sure. I love Fraggle Rock. Anybody else been watching the Muppet Show on Disney Plus? I know I have. 
I also just watched um, uh, Ra Ra Rava? Rava and the Last Dragon. It was so good. You guys should check that out if you haven't seen it. It's the new Disney movie on Disney Plus. It's very good. <laughs> Thanks, Lily. Hello. You want to say hi? Jules is here and wants to say hello. If you'd like to, but make sure to take him out, too. <laughs> Jules wants to say hello. And Jimbo. And Jimbo. Can we get it? How do we get in here? Here we go. Here, I can turn more. Hello. <laughs> Big family portrait here. Hello. Yee. We're missing Phoebe, though. Yeah, well, we're always it. missing Phoebe. She's hiding. Always. Hi, everybody. What are you making? I'm making an astronaut for cool. our baby mobile. And you can see the astronauter right there. <gasps> you did it. Yes. My friend Sage gave him the idea. Yeah, Jane. Look, Jane is in the chat. Hi, Jane. Nice to e meet you. <laughs> nice to e meet you. <laughs> can you, do you think you can grab some woggles? Sure, which ones? I don't know. Lulip? Daylor, uh, no, Lulip's right there. Oh, you got Lulip. Okay. Lulip's mine. Dealer's choice on woggles. Okay. I'll go get some. Does Jimbo not count? I mean, he's pretty fluffy. He is pretty fluffy. He's very Woggle-like. Balthazar, yes, I have seen WandaVision, and it was wonderful. Wonderful. Haha, -ha, see what I did there? It really was, though. It was very cool. The end was a little... Um... Not what I was expecting. Which is not bad. Just not what I was expecting. But I'm not going to talk about it anymore because there are spoilers and I don't want to spoil anything no for no ones. I got five. Is that good? Yeah. That's okay. great. That's okay. great. Cool. Thank you. I'm just going to put them to the side. If people support, then I can put out the woggle. Yeah. And you have some stars left, too. And a moon. Well. Do they know about that or did I just They do ruin not. It? They do I not know about the all. moon. I just want to say hi more. Who started knitting? Sparky the Gecko just started knitting. That's amazing. What you what you making? Sparky yeah, what's the gecko? your what's your current project if it's not your first project? Cats may as well be aliens. Yes, they may as well. Why not? Maybe that's why the Egyptians love them so much. <laughs> they might as well be. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> How many people are watching? Ooh, seventy-two. 72. Did you tell good. Did you tell about the power outage? Yes, I did. Yeah, we had a power outage like right before the live stream. So I almost had to move the live stream back a little bit. Mm -hmm. But I it ended up all working out. All working out. Can you uh can you grab me some yellow yarn too? Yeah. Just that just one. that one, yeah. Here I just need I actually just need like a string of it. How long? Like a foot? Maybe maybe two feet? Yeah, that that's more than enough, yeah. Thank you. I just need to add a little button to them. I love the scissors. I might actually add an actual button. That might be kind of fun. You know? Yeah. I actually, do you think you'd grab me like a little... <laughs> well, I'm a little, uh... You're a little, you're, yeah, you're a little support. Your you're help right now. Can I grab you? Um, uh, in the button box, which is... Yeah. In, yeah. Um, uh, maybe like a, like a tiny pink button or... Something. Is the color important or the size? The size is most important, and then you can pick the color. It's going to be a button on the astronaut's jacket, so that he can have like he what can. What color is his jacket? Well, I mean, he's. This is what the astronaut's going to look like. All white. Yeah, he's all white. He's so all white. I, I want to replace these little things with like an actual button. Ooh, I don't know if you have any that small, but. I... Yeah, if I don't, Maybe that's okay. You just put no, I think there's a red. Well, a pin would be good for his like maybe on Here. his head. Okay. I think there's like little itty bitty red ones in there somewhere. I see. I'll do my best. That's okay. If you can't find it, it's fine. Jules, they asked, does Jules have a YouTube? She does. She just started it. It's called um, Knit by Jules. That's her That's her YouTube. Actually, if you go to my YouTube channel, 
on the right side there's going to be like a suggested YouTube channels uh, and hers is one of them. That'll work. Yeah. That'll work. No, it's okay. All right. That's all right. There's there's not any rush. I, I need to uh, finish this round or two. Okay. And then this I need to do something else. Anyhow. That's the smallest one I can find. Okay. Yeah, that's perfect. Do you want any yeah, of yeah, yeah. This little itty bitty one. Um, here, I'll take them just in case. And then if I don't, then I'll just put them away. Okay. You can leave that out. I'll, yeah. yeah. Thank you. Okay, I'm going to say hi bye. I'm going to go play Animal Crossing now. Because that's what I do on Sundays. <laughs> yes, that is her Sunday. <laughs> and Monday, and Tuesday, Wednesday, Yeah, Thursday, and like every day, yeah. <laughs> for at least an hour. I'm building a ramen restaurant in the basement it's so of cool. my diner. And it's it's taking a lot of work because all of my uh, Japanese uh, items are in a different account for my hotel. So I have to <laughs> yeah, log she's into got, a hotel, get all yeah. the things, drop them off, and then log into diner, get all the things, and then dar start decorating. It is was it, a lot. It's really cool, though. <laughs> I'm really, really curious to see what you do with the uh, warp pipe. I don't, I don't know if I'm gonna use it. Oh, you I gotta don't... use it. It's so useful. I mean, even just using it to get to, just but back to your place well, really it quick. It doesn't fit the, the look of my eyes. I know that's why I was thinking the underwater thing works because it's like. Yeah, but then I have to make a whole underwater basement in one of my accounts, and I all, all my rooms are full. That's fine. You could use one bit. You I'm don't not gonna make to... another account either. I already have five. Yeah, on my I don't island, think you And I only get eight on my Switch. Not that I, I don't know who else would use. I mean, maybe you would. No, you do have an account on my Switch. So I have two slots left. So I'm not gonna fill it with Animal Crossing themed yeah. slots. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Okay, bye. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So I'm going to do this last round of white, um, and then we're going to uh, be sewing on the face and stuff. Oh, they subbed. Uh, thank you for subscribing to her, her channel. Yeah, it's going to be mostly knitting, obviously, but it is... Uh, she won't be, I don't think, she, I think she's trying to plan to upload like maybe once every week or every few weeks. She should probably think about what she's going to add next on there. So now I am on, by the way, if you are also crocheting the, um, the astronaut as well, um, you'll notice that I am doing a, um, I'm on round 12. And in the pattern for round 12, I would normally be adding the feet here, but I'm going to try adding the feet in the next round instead to see if the feet will like really point downwards instead of out. So we'll see how it goes. I'm actually just going to crochet one more right there. But now, before I sew on all the face and stuff like that, I'm going to put this to the side and we are going to do a little bit of a halftime show. I'm gonna drink a little bit of coffee and then Jack. Hey, Jackie. Wake up. You're still wearing your hat. Yeah, I know. Okay. Jack would like to introduce the halftime show. I mean, it is your only job. So. <clears throat> Hello and welcome to the halftime show. Yeah, that's right. I'm back, baby. <laughs> uh, yeah, so welcome to the halftime show brought to you by you. If you'd like to help support this channel, you know how. You can tip. You can uh, give me money. I like money. I want to eat your money. Okay, thank you. Bye. Oh, wait. There's other things I need to say. Yeah, you need to say like a lot more than just like give me money. Okay. So, uh, yeah, this halftime show, we are going to be, uh, it's going to be show and tell. Louie's going to show you a few things that he's been making. I think it's they're pretty cool. They're cool, right? They're cool. They're pretty cool. Okay, good. Uh, and then, uh, yeah, next halftime show, I think I've got something in the plans. Me, me and a couple of pod people have some something planned out for you guys. So keep a lookout for that. And, uh... I guess that's about it. Thank you all so much for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe. You said that really weird. Subscribe. Okay. Ooh. Tina says that I shouldn't leave with the astronaut. No, I should leave with the astronaut. Don't take my astronaut. 
This one. They, this is the good astronaut that I don't want you to take. Okay. Dude! I took it out of his mouth. It's all good now. You want to say bye? Yeah, okay, bye! Thanks for watching. Jack, you are a mess, dude. You need to get your stuff together. I'm fine, I'm fine. He just woke up from a nap. It was like a whole thing. He hasn't been here in a sec. He, you know, he's been vacationing, so... He's got some work to do. But anyhow... I do have some things I like to show you. I don't have too much too much that I made this week, uh, other than like a bunch of little octopi. But um, let's show you what I've got. So the first thing is I have been working on hmm, a few new burbs because you know me, I'm addicted to burbs. Um, the main main one being I don't think I showed it, but maybe I have. I don't know. I, I made a toucan. This is actually um, someone. Someone sent me a, a picture of a toucan burb that they made, and I was like, oh my god, that's so cool. So I made my own toucan burb as well, um, using a very similar method. Uh, but yeah, it's pretty cool, right? A little toucan, and uh, the face matches really well. See, so it looks like boom, and then boop, it's actually a burb, obviously. So that's the first thing, is that I made a toucan burb. Now I'm working on a tutorial soon for the, um, for the humming burb. Uh, but, uh, hey, Fandom Random says that he loves you. So, you got fans. It's Fandom Random. Uh, <laughs> so this is a toucan. Uh, I'm going to work on the hummingbird pattern soon as a thank you for all the likes on that burb live stream. I just haven't had the chance and then I got sick and that's the whole thing. But, yes, toucan. Toucan Sam. Uh, what else? What else? You guys have seen those ones. Oh, yeah. Um, so I've been practicing the um, the pattern for my octopi. Uh, I don't know if you remember, but last year I did. I started doing rough draft patterns, and one of them was for an octopus because it's a very complicated. Well, it's not that the pattern's really complicated. It's actually a somewhat simple pattern, but it's a no sew pattern. So you can add like a face and stuff without sewing anything on. So I've been practicing it because it's actually kind of a complicated instructions. Um, if you'd like to help me out. Uh, you can check it out on my rough drafts. You can find those rough drafts just from the home page. And I've been making a bunch of different octopi with different hats on it. So I'd like to share you some of those. Um, this is Fedrick. Fedrick. He's wearing a little fez, a little octopi with a fez. So I'm working on a tutorial um, for these patterns because they are no sew. I mean, the fez obviously was sewn onto his head. But other than the fez, this pattern is made without sewing anything together except for sewing it closed. It's just made in the round, in the spiral. It's really cool. I'm really, really proud of this pattern. So I'm going to be working on a tutorial for it soonish. Um, there's still a lot of work that needs to be done. I need to practice it a little bit more and stuff like that. But yes, yeah, so let me show you a few more. So this one's kind of cute. And then there's this one. His name is Taco. He is a, um, a sushi chef. I love the eyes on these guys so much. I'm like really, really proud of this pattern. And you can see that I'm working on different tutorials for different kinds of, of uh, tentacles. So this one's got more pointed tentacles. This one's got round ones. So like all my patterns, I'm trying to make it so you can customize the patterns a little bit. Um, then there's another one I made. Where is the other one I made? Oh, here it is. Yeah? Yeah, this is it. Um, so I so there's also a squid version of this pattern that I'm working on uh, And so this is the squid one you can't see the top of the squid There is like a point that goes up the top, but I gave him a, a bowler cap because I just thought it was so cute So I just couldn't help it But yeah, there's a squid version of the same pattern. Uh, I haven't added this to rough drafts yet I tried to add it last night, but it was just so late after making all those the the space thing um, this thing wait so after making this thing, it just took so long that I didn't have enough time to finish up uh, the adding the rough draft to the website. But the rough draft's coming soon to the site for the squid. It's just a little bit more complicated, obviously, because there's color changes that you got to do, and obviously there's this mouth and stuff. So it's a little complicated, but it's very cu cute. I'm gonna make a few more tonight to test out the rough draft a little bit more. 
Uh, and yeah, so these are some fun things that I've been adding. I've also been making um, some more space themed patterns for to come out this month. Uh, and this is heavily, um, the, the idea of this is heavily inspired by, uh, by Sunshine. Um, well, I made the original one but uh, what you can do with this. So it's a UFO. You've seen the UFO before. This is all made with uh, glow-in-the-dark yarn. So all of these these actually um, glow. It might glow here. I don't have... Let's see. Let's see if I can just... Do I see the glow? No, it's it's too dark. I, I need the um, black light to make them really glow right now because they, they haven't been in the sunlight. But all these white spots actually glow in the dark. Uh, and I've been working on the rough draft a little bit more like testing it out um to add things uh like look how perfect that circle on the bottom is that's something that i've been practicing uh, adding these bobble stitches and then additionally this is something i found out via sunshine she sent me a um a picture of one of her ufos that she's been making uh using mine as inspiration and what she did was she actually made the the top here inside out so that you could put a little alien in it but what i realized is you can actually pop this inside out like this so i didn't even need to do that i didn't even need to make it that way i could just pop it inside out like that and now there's a little spot for an alien to fit into. Now this alien's just a little bit big, so I'm gonna work on a new alien pattern that fits a little bit better in it. But you can see an alien could just like sit inside there and it actually holds it in there. Oop. Unless you knock it over. Um, I gotta make a smaller alien for it, but yeah, I've been working on that and you can easily pop that back out. Do it just push it on the inside and it pops that back out. So this is a tutorial that's coming out soon uh, during the space themed month. We'll probably be doing this as a kit. Uh, and then I have an idea for how to do a very similar thing that I did with the rocket, but um, but with the uh, um, with the UFO instead with green lights that that go around in a spiral. I don't know. You'll see it soon, I'm sure. Um, but it is pretty cool. I'm pretty excited about this this UFO pattern. Uh, so I'm gonna work on it soon, and it's gonna be a smaller one too. Trip a little. Uh, I actually have a pattern for Grogu out uh maybe we'll do that as a tutorial for this space themed stuff as well though um let's see what else is there any other ones that i wanted to share that i've made this week oh other oh the moon um so this was actually uh this is this is another one of the space themed ones that i'm working on um and i had this kind of set up for a for a donation so if, if if you donate, I'll put, I'll leave it out for you. Um, but I just want to share it during this halftime show. So it's just a little moon, uh, just like the stars, but it's just a little moon. Uh, and it's really, this was crazy easy to make. Um, it's basically just a big piece that's folded in half and sewn together. So I'm going to work on this to come out with the star tutorial uh, kind of thing. So yeah, I'm really proud of this. I think I'm going to do a little face maybe on it too. Maybe do a spiked bobble right here to make a little nose and a little eye but yeah and then obviously we got a million billion different kinds of little stars that are going to be part of the star tutorial pattern but those are all the things that i have been making this past few weeks uh i know it's not too much because i got a little sick so i didn't um spend too much time crocheting because i just kind of like was resting but I know Mel Bell, I want to eat that cookie too. Seriously, that, that, or that, that moon. It looks like a cookie, like big time. Doesn't this look like a cookie? It looks like you can like throw it too. It looks like a ninja star or something. Um, I'm really proud of it. I think it's a really, and it's such a simple pattern. So it's very cool. I should make the moon blue, but it's cheese. It's yellow like cheese. Is Club, oh, Lily asks, um, well, let's get back into crocheting. Uh, I hope you guys like that. Uh, really quick, I just wanna grab a needle for this little tiny button. Or else I'm not gonna be able to sew it onto the body. So let's just do like this. I think this should work for the, make sure this fits all the way through. Yeah, okay, good. Look at that. Um, uh, is okay so Lily asks is club crochet an account with a bunch of people or just you it's just me um, I'm the I am 
I'm Club Crochet. <laughs> I'm like all of Club Crochet. Uh, I do have help with uh, for from um, uh, some moderators like Mel Bell. Mel, thank you so much for moderating this uh, live stream. I really appreciate it very, very much. Um, so moderators help with just different kind of stuff. We're also working on a calendar for a bunch of sales and stuff like that. Doesn't matter. Uh, but the website itself, this YouTube channel, it's all it's all this guy right here. Um, and all your support goes directly to the website. Uh, I actually have a full-time job outside of this. Uh, if I didn't, I would probably be making a lot more patterns, but I can't afford to not have a full-time job also, uh, at least not yet. Um, I'm getting pretty close, but not just yet. Um, so, yeah, all your support that you that come through donations and stuff like that all go directly back into Club Crochet. So I use it on things like making the website, uh, making website designs, paying for things like yarn or, or cameras that get broken. Um, uh, yeah, things like that. They just go directly back into into the website. So if you'd like to help support, um, that that would be very that would be very very nice, <laughs> very nice indeed. Um, okay, well, let's keep crocheting. Our next thing that we want to do on this guy is add our mask. So we're going to sew this mask onto the head, right onto there like that. Like that. We'll do it like a little off center like that. Yeah, that's pretty good. Okay. We're gonna go just slightly over the gray bottom there too, if we can. And then we'll add our little shine to the mask also. Okay. Yeah, this is, so like Lauren, uh, your question brings up good thing, good points where it's like all this is just um, created by one person. So your support goes like pretty far when it's just one person, you know? Um, I'd love to hire other people eventually to help with the website. I don't have the money to do that at like not even near the money to do that. I don't even have the money so that I can pay myself. So hopefully that can happen in the future, but it just goes to show why it's so important that you um, support the things that you love. And uh, yeah, maybe buy this pattern if you'd like to. It comes with a full video tutorial. Um, outside of this uh, crochet along, there is actually a video tutorial for this pattern and every single pattern that I come out with on the website that you get access to with the membership. And in the video tutorial, it's me making the pattern, like me making the item, but explaining every single part. So I'm like, okay, well, this is a bobble stitch and here's how you do it. And when you're sewing this on, you want to go through all these stitches specifically. So it, it's... I think that they're very helpful for um, for patterns, especially for like the trickiest parts of the pattern. I'm really proud of the fact that all the tutorials on the site have video tutorials on them. Um, it is very exhausting and definitely slows down the process, but I think it's really useful, really useful for um, for just explaining different patterns, especially to people that might not have. Um, as much experience or or if the writing is just a little bit confusing stuff like that a burb burb so it looks like a burb but then you can take off the burbs head and there's another burb on the inside oh my god oh my god fandom random you're an evil genius all right that's e that's that is genius. I'm wondering if maybe the burbs are aliens that are spying on us. I don't know. We're still trying to figure out what the burbs are spying on. And why they're spying. And who do they work for? So maybe we'll figure out that they're aliens this month. I don't know. I don't know. So I'm just sewing up the, the mask now. I'm trying to figure out where I want to put all these little stitches. Do 
we will figure it out together forever. I mean, that's looking pretty cool. I love that the mask is like crazy big on the face. I tried originally to do this mask as color changes, but it just did not fly. It didn't work out right. Let's see, how many stitches do I have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten more stitches, and we want to end there. We got one, two, three, four. Wait, one, two, three, four. We'll just keep going around and hopefully it doesn't get too weird. <laughs> yes, a burb alien. I feel like there's a pun there somewhere. Ba 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 alien. No, burblian. A burblian. Oh my god, maybe that's what they are. They're burblian. Who knows even? One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three. Yeah, okay, we'll go down. We're going down, down. Hey, quick, uh, if you haven't yet, please like this video down below and subscribe to the channel. We're trying to hit 100,000 subscribers by as soon as we can, I guess. We're really close though. It's at like uh, uh, 98,000, I think right now. So it's like crazy close. Which is so exciting. If I get to 100,000, I can get the little check mark on the account and, and, and uh, YouTube will send me a, a shiny plaque. I'm really excited actually about that. I know I'm. Sh I know it's silly, but I think it's just such a cool idea. I've always wanted one. Okay, so we got the mask sewn on. That's pretty good, actually. I like how I like how low it is sewn on. Now I want to add just a little shine to the mask. Um, actually, I'll just double knot these and then I'll, I'll make the shine with this extra white yarn. Am I excited for Skyward Sword HD? Absolutely I am. Uh, I've never played Skyward Sword. Skyward Sword. I've never played Skyward Sword. So I'm actually pretty stoked about that. Um, I hope they do other ones though, other than Skyward Sword. I'd li really like to replay Twilight Princess, for example, which I know is on the Wii U, but I don't know. I just love the Switch so much. So we're thinking like that. Let's see how this looks. Yeah, look at that shine. Oh, that's great. That's exactly what we're looking for. Yes, 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 of course, of course. Do I, I do like Among Us. I haven't played it that much. It gives me big anxiety, um, which I like. I mean, I, I do like getting anxiety when it comes to video games to a degree. Uh, I just haven't played it very often. I played like seven rounds of, of Among Us maybe in my entire life, but I loved it. Uh, I just don't really have people to play it with, I guess. I don't know. Okay, so we got the mask on. The next thing we want to do is we want to sew on these, on the side, these arms. Um, I do want to get wire though, so that I can sew them on a little bit easier. And I actually have some leftover wire from the um, from the rocket ship. So let me go grab that, it's right here. So it's not going to go very far. I think this is a, right? No, no, I have some, there it is. I'm gonna try using wire this time instead of using uh, pipe cleaners. 
Because normally I use pipe cleaners, but I have this extra wire that my dad sent me. Uh, so I'm going to use that. Because it'll be a little bit stronger and, and let me um, uh, change the shape of the arms a little bit better. I don't know. I just wanted to give it a shot, honestly. I'm going to go with like... That far. Let's do another one. About like... That. Gosh, this is like crazy strong though. Honestly, it might be too, it might be too strong. It's even leaving some marks on my hand. Let's just go like, I'll just twist it a little bit. But, oh my gosh, it's so strong though. I don't know if this is a good idea. It might be too much. So we wanna put this in the arm and oh, I don't know if this is a good idea. I just think it's too tough and it's dirty. I'm going to say, never mind. And we're gonna go back to pipe cleaners. <laughs> to pipe cleaners. Okay, dudes. How long have we been going for? Oh, two hours, that's pretty good. Oh, good, good tip, Charlie. 16 gauge aluminum. I actually have some of that right over there, but too late. I've already cut these pipe cleaners, so we're going to use these instead. Find where we want the arm. And go like right there, maybe. Yeah, so like right in between these two rounds. And we'll just twist it on the inside. Oh well, good luck, Tina. Thanks for watching. We're gonna go like right there, and then, then we'll have the feet on the bottom. Yeah, I think this is gonna work pretty well. Oh, but let's put the other, let's put the other pipe cleaner in before I start sewing the arm on. Whoa, we just like jumped up and down on viewers real quick. So hello to people that have come back, maybe. Oh, there we go, Lau. Hello, Lau. We're gonna go one, a two, -hoo. There we go. There we are. Yes, of course. Hi, Fahi. Fahima. Okay, so we just want to sew these arms onto the side. Ha, thanks you, Cat. Thank you, Catalina. Thanks you. Thanks you, Catalina.
Okay, so now we need to stuff this hand up. Well, let's do like one more. One more stitch sewn on before I stuff it, maybe. Let's see, how many more do I got here? One, two, three, four, five. Oopsies. Did I sew around something? No, I didn't. Okay. No, let's not go up. Well, I guess let's see what it looks like. I'm talking to myself. Sorry. You know how I am when it comes to sewing things on. I always get really distracted. Yeah, I think I want it to be sewn on just one layer lower, like right there. That's gonna be one, two, three, four. Yeah, perfect. Okay. Bye, Tina. <laughs> I got the sneezies. I got the sneezies. You sneezies. Grab this little crochet hook stick. This stick ain't working for me. It's too smooth. <laughs> Let's use this one instead. I need something with a little bit of a, of a rougher end. Gross, what I do? Is it that I sneezed inside of my shirt? It's the best way to keep the sneeze out from getting all over the place. It's the, I don't know about you. It's better than sneezing your arm. May the yarn gods bless me. May the yarn gods bless me. I have this meeting every Monday with my, um, my boss and my, my manager. And every Monday I come into the meeting and I go, Mmm, yes, good Monday. Of course, good Monday to us all. May we be blessed with a great Monday. Which uh, I think really, really uh, softens the, the mood of a Monday, you know, because it's a Monday. Mondays are never good. I know my boss really thinks it's funny because he, he talks about it in like the company-wide meetings. I just think it's funny. You're just being a big meanie, Mel. Oh my gosh, you're so mean. Such a big jerkazoid. Wow, wow. Okay, so we got an arm. We got an arm, baby. Oh, I'm so sorry, Rebecca. I'm contagious. My sneezes are contagious. Yo, coffee and crochet. How early is it there? I know she wakes up really early. She live streamed last yesterday too. I saw it. I saw. I didn't. I wasn't able to to actually watch it, but I did see this morning that you had live streamed. I love. I I actually really love how big this arm is. <laughs> Oh my God, woggles and burbs. Oh no, Lil up, stand up straight. You're embarrassing me in front of my friend. My God, you're embarrassing me in front of my friend. 7.55, so early. Lizzie, am I planning on getting some different t-shirts soon? <laughs> uh, yeah, I think I should. I, I'm thinking, um. I was thinking Yancey the Yeti as a t-shirt, maybe. Just sitting there drinking coffee. Maybe it says something fun, like... I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. so early hmm. 
<laughs> Lilith wanted to take a nap, yeah. It's funny, I call Lilith a girl, but the Woggles are asexual. They don't, they're not girls or boys. They're theys, I guess. One, two, three. Six. Yeah, perfect. But they just have this, like, female, the, Lilith has this female energy to her, even though she's not a female. What time is it for Louie? Right now, it is almost 3 p.m. Good timing, too. I love 3. 3 p.m. Have I ever crocheted a fall guy? Uh, no. I'd... Oh, yes. Yes, I have. I have crocheted a fall guy, actually. This is right over in here. I think he's in the big bucket of crocheted things that's right over there. No, Alicia, I don't mean non-binary. I mean non-gendered. Uh, I, they don't have, they, they don't have, they, they reproduce asexually. They don't have reproductive organs for either one. They're just, they're like snails. Well, actually, snails aren't even re, don't asexually reproduce. They're like, like, um, like, um, like amoebas or, um, or, uh, Komodo dragons sometimes reproduce asexually. Like, uh, like, like yeast, like yeast. I guess non-binary then, yeah. But it's not even a gender thing. It's not even about like attraction. It's just like, I guess non-binary. I don't, would you call, would you call a, an amoeba non-binary? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I, I think we're, we're, anthropomorphizing them a little too much. They're not, because they're not humans, you know? <laughs> yes, I'm talking about the Woggles, yeah. <laughs> talking about the Woggles. They don't, they reproduce asexually, so they don't have any genders at all. We're thinking of them in human ideals, but they're not humans, so they're neither. Okay, Balthazar. Well, thank you so much for joining, Balthazar. I love your name. It's so epic. You have a very epic name. Like, I imagine us in a battle. It's like, Louis versus Balthazar. I'm like, oh, I'm screwed. I'm up against Balthazar. <laughs> sounds like you have... Your, your name sounds like it comes with so much power. It's awesome. It is awesome. Yeah, they don't got any parts. Will I ever make a pattern for the Woggles? I don't know. I, I don't know if I will. I don't, I don't know what the answer to that is just yet because part of me wants to say no because they're not crocheted their 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 own life species but part of me wants to say yes because they're it would be fun i have to i have to think about it a little bit more
If I do, I'd have to call them like a woggle model. Because they're not woggles. If they're crocheted, they're not woggles, you know? I need to sew this on a little bit tighter there. This backpack is being a brat pack. Should go one more over. Great. Right there, and then we'll go up. Yeah, that's that's better. I mean, it might be a little sewn on a little bit awkwardly, but. We'll see what it ha we'll see what happens when it comes back around to the front. It looks a little oblong. <laughs> yeah, brat pack, yeah. No, I could make a pattern for a oh, I got give just give me just give me a sec. I, I I'll figure something out for them. I don't want other people making pattern for them. Oh, Rebecca. The cops are there. We're gonna get you. Run! Run, Rebecca! Run! Hide your kids. Did I sew this in? No, I didn't. Okay, good. All right, so where are we at here? We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten more. One. Might be cutting it close here, but keep trying. You, you, the screws in your knees, you can't run? Oh my gosh. They're gonna get you. They're gonna get you. Okay, now we need to stuff this backpack just a little tiny bit. Do not want to overstuff the backpack though. I mean, he needs oxygen, though, you know? So we need a little bit of stuffing. You got a beaker hat yesterday? Like, beaker the Muppet? Or, like, a beak? What kind of beaker hat you talking? Twinsies! Oh, my gosh. Rebecca and Melbell both got metal on their legs like a superhero. One, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. We're gonna have to, we're gonna have to fudge some of this. We're gonna go up one more. I wasn't paying attention to the sewing together parts. One, two, three, four. <laughs> I sneezed again. Uh-oh. I'm sorry. One, two. I'm sortly. Okay. Backpack sewn on. 
Hey, that's actually... You know what? That's sewn on better than I was expecting it to look. Not bad. No, it's bad at all. I'm going to add another part of this backpack in just a sec. Once I make another round of crochet. Um, you want to do like this like this connecting piece that goes to the back. I mean, goes to the front. But let's do another round of crochet first because I'm going to do the um, legs now. I'm going to make it decrease down. I'm going to do the legs so that they're pointing straight down instead. So let's give that a shot. It might be a little tricky. Be patient with me. But let's see what we can do. Definitely going to decrease one. And then right here. Let's see. One. Yeah, we'll put the leg there. Okay. So we need to start working around red yarn now, just for a few stitches. May the crochet gods bless me! <laughs> Aquatic Luna, hello! I didn't see you before. Thank you for the gazoon tight. I am so gazoon tighted right now. All thanks to you. Okay, now how did I make the legs? Let's see. Okay, so they're half. So I yarn over with red, and then we'll do this. I remember this song. I, is this from Pikmin, maybe? Like so blast. Oh man, what a divine rose knight miss. You missed a bunch. There was. So here's what happened, Divine Rose Knight. Um There were a bunch of moths, uh vicious moths with sharp wings, and they came in and they were attacking me, and they were like whoosh, 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 whoosh. And they were like wiping at me. And I was like, no, stop. I'm trying to live stream right now. But these moths were relentless. They just wouldn't stop. And then out of nowhere came a shining bright light. It turned out that this light attracted all the moths. And they just went going towards the light really, really fast. And they all burned up because of the light. That's what you missed, Divine Rose Knight. It was crazy. I can't believe you missed it, though. But it was wild. It was wild. But you missed it, you know? That's why you can't leave. You're going to miss cool things that happen to me. I, you know, every time someone leaves, something crazy and supernatural ends up happening on this live stream. And, and if, you, if you're not here to watch, you know, you're going to miss these cool, crazy things. Transformers, burbs in disguise. I think I might have to do something weird with the decreases. No, 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 no. Oh, do I? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> no, 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 no. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I'm going to do something weird with the decreases just so I could get this foot where I want it to be. We'll see how it goes. Hey, Alex. Welcome. Welcome to the stream. All right. This song is epic. Everything's epic. Epic.
There we go. Ooh, that stitch was hard to do. This weird thing that we're doing with the feet is turning out to be very difficult. But I hope it pays off. But see how like the feet are gonna be pointing more down rather than out like that? That's the goal. I think we have another decrease here, so let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Oh wait, actually, we have twelve stitches exactly right now. Yeah, pretty good actually. That's exactly the amount of stitches that we want. So um, before I continue, let's add our little decoration on our astronaut's front. We have a few things that I want to add. Um, we're going to start by adding the button, I think. It's got some gray thread here. I don't need very much. That's probably fine. We're going to sew this itty, itty bitty button on the front of our astronaut, like right, right here. And it's supposed to be his like communicator button. That's the kind of idea for that button. Hi, Balthazar. Good night. Got it. Cross. Perfect, okay. Back up right here. Sewing on a tiny itty bitty button is difficult. It's a very difficult process. Because it is so tiny. Yes, of course, of course. Like that. Okay, I think I should double double up the button here because uh, I'm afraid it'll fall off. So let's go ahead and double it. Nah, I mean. Oh, Jules just sneezed. Bust you, Jules. I don't want to yell for the microphone, but bust you, Jules. It's out in the world. Gazoon tight. That should help stave off the demons. I know that those demons are trying to enter her body right now. That's what happens with sneezes. If you don't bless them or give them a gazoon tight, those demons are gonna rush into that body and just now suddenly, boom, you're just a demon, you know? You just gotta be careful about that. You never know. When a demon's going to possess you because you sneezed. You know, we live in a scary world. <laughs> Bless you, Jules. Bless you, Jules. I'll let her know that you said that. You got a beaker from the Muppets hat? That's so cool. I love the Muppets. You been watching the Muppet show? I've been watching it a bunch. I love it. I love the Muppets. They remind me of being a kid. I used to watch Muppets Tonight, which was like the Muppet Show, but it wasn't the Muppet Show. Uh, it was in the 90s. I remember watching it with my mom all the time. I wonder if she remembers that. Louis Yarnstrong. Oh my god. Yes. Yes, we can name it Louis Yarnstrong. I think we need another red button on right next to there. 
So let's grab a little bit more yarn for Louis Yarnstrong. So I'm going to do a bullion knot with this one. To do a little bit extra detail. I like to pull the bullion knots up and then like kind of pinch them and squeeze them. Like that, make it a little bit tighter. Let's see, do we like what that is? Uh, yeah, it's okay. I like it. Double knot like that. Okay, one more thing that I want to add before I sew it, or before we do our last round of crochet and sew our guy closed, is uh, I really like adding a, a little connector, like a tube connector that connects the backpack to the front of your um, guy. So you can see it right here a little bit. See that? And it's actually pretty easy to make. All you do is you take some white yarn. I'm going to go out from the backpack on the back like that like that and then into wherever we want that front part we'll put it like right there so it like goes across the body we'll go back around actually yeah we'll go one stitch over like that Oh, we're, we're listening to the music again. Same music. And then I like to leave it a little bit loose, and then all you do is you just wrap around this one end of yarn a bunch to make it nice and double thick. Easy squeezy. Making basically like a little, a little connector tube. It goes from the backpack to the front pack, <laughs> to the front. This little oxygen supply, I guess. Uh, maybe one more. Back in. Double knot these two yarn ends. almost done so next week we're going to be doing a miniature rocket so if you would like to get a kit before next week um, they are still available and if you order it right now they should get there before our live stream you can find that by just going to um, clubcrochet.com slash kits or if you go to clubcrochet.com slash rocket you'll find the rocket pattern there this is looking pretty good though I like that um, I think we're going to add also this little thing just into the backpack like that. So now he's got a little communicator maybe. Just a little pin back there. I might add that in just a little bit though because I'm afraid I'm going to poke my hands if I keep going. We'll probably have to remove that anyhow if we're going to make this for a baby mobile. So we'll see. We will see. Okay. Now this last round is just decreases. I stuff them closed. Actually, maybe I should stuff just a little bit. So there's one decrease. Don't forget that, Lou. I'm just going to use a bunch of our spare yarn to stuff him 
first. I'm not sure how much those pipe cleaners helped with the arms. I think you can, yeah, you can bend them actually, just a little tiny bit. But that's kind of good. Okay. All right, let's keep crocheting. We did one of our five decreases. Oh my god, Jane, I love your Knitting Ogre so much. I'm a huge fan of it. I actually got, I actually found out about the Knitting Ogre. I should have found it from Discord right away, but I actually found out because uh, Sage texted Jules. Sage is our uh, friend in common, by the way, for people that are confused right now. Um, Jane and I have a friend in common named Sage. And Sage is one of Jules' best friends, and Jane sent Sage a picture, and Sage sent it to Jules, and blah, 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 blah. You get the gist. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. Great. Cut this. We're going to sew this closed after we stuff our guy a little bit more. And she made an ogre that's actually knitting. So he, he's She made, like, a little knit thing, and then I think you used... I think she used... um toothpicks as knitting needles Lily would I ever make the uh, astronaut with full long legs um yeah I mean it'd be pretty easy to do so you just need to make other legs that you would sew on I just don't like to sew things together and there's already so much that I have to sew on this but you're thinking like an among us kind of version of it long legs I need just a little bit more stuffing. It's a little understuffed on the bottom here. Balthazar, uh, did I get your email? I, I don't know. I, I haven't. I can't check my email while I'm in the middle of the live stream. Um, but I, I'll email you back. I'm sure I did. So I'll, me I'll email you back when I get a chance. Louis Yarnstrong, right? Is that what we're naming it? Louis Yarnstrong? I really like that idea. That's funny. I'll just go through the front loops here. Sew this guy together. And I think we'll call it a day. We'll have our first of our, um, our space baby mobile that we're working on. So... Like I said in the beginning, this is the first of uh, of a series of live streams that are all dedicated to space-themed crocheted patterns. So if you would like to be crocheting this along with us, we're going to end up with a baby mobile or just a bunch of space-themed toys uh, by the end of this series of live streams. So next week we're going to be making a rocket. And you see how that... See how the... The feet go downwards now. That was the idea. See, those are the old ones. These are the new ones. They're kind of pointed more down. They're a little messy, I, I'll be honest. But, you know, for a first shot at that, that's not too bad. He looks very goofy, kind of. He's a little bit messy. I think I could clean up some of the stitches around, especially the stitches around the neck. But, like these gray bits. But, uh, you know, they add a little bit of character to it, so it's not that bad. So we'll cut this nice and close. And we'll add his little communicator needle. I think we're not going to have... We're going to have to take this out when it comes to um, doing this for a baby mobile. Because we don't want needles. The chance of it poking a kid or anything. I mean, I don't have a kid, so I don't really have to worry about it right now, but... 
Actually, that's like really stuck in there too, though. Okay, that's pretty good though. I like it. What do you guys think? What do you think? We got our we got our first our, our little our little spaceman, Louis Yarnstrong. Oh my God, I'm so happy with it. That is that's really cool. I love the legs. I really I'm really proud of that. That looks cool. I think I could have done the legs in all white too. I don't think I needed to do those color changes in the red, but it's kind of nice because it matches the arms a little bit. But oh, he even stands up. Oh my God, he stands up like really well. Oh, <laughs> and then he tips over. Does he look like he's floating in space? <laughs> cool. So next week we're going to be making this rocket for our spaceman, and he's going to be connected to it. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Very, very cool. One down. All right, guys. Yes, so you can explore the crochet verse. Exactly. Okay. Well, guys, thank you so much for joining. Um, this is uh, a, a long-awaited. I've, I've missed doing these live streams, so thank you so much for everybody that has joined. Um, check out the new space patterns on clubcrochet.com, obvi. And I will see you, um, I'll see you next week where we're going to make a rocket. How exciting. Um, okay, guys. Pasta la pizza. Happy hooking. And um, I love you guys. I'll miss you. See you in a week. And uh, yes, I'll check out the I'll check out the beaker hat on Discord. If you want to chat with me throughout the week before next live stream, uh, check out the Discord at clubcrochet.com slash Discord. Uh, follow on everything. We got a new TikTok at, at Club Crochet, and there's an Instagram and everything like that too. Okay. Bye, everybody. Thanks for joining. And oh, oh, and check out this cool animation. If you didn't see it at the beginning, if you came halfway through the live stream, uh, I really hope you enjoy this. I spent a long time on it last night, so um, check out this cool uh, thing I made. Ready? One, two, three. Bye, guys. Now you hang up.